This is how to crochet the triangle dragon scale stitch or crocodile stitch part three. We're going to chain two and then we're going to add a double crochet into the base of that chain or um, that section of the previous double crochet. If you wanted to stop increasing, you would simply slip stitch into the center of the scale without worrying about chaining anything. But here we're going to chain two and then add two double crochet into the center of the chain. I do have another video tutorial on how to work the crocodile stitch in a um, square shape or rectangular shape and I'll be sure to tag that video in the captions here in case you don't want to work a triangle. But after this we're going to chain two and work two more double crochet in between the two double crochet of the first half of the previous row. Now, I like to work around everything when I do this, but you can just separate the scale row and the double crochet row. Then we're going to chain two and add two double crochet into the center of the scale. And then after that, we are going to chain two again, and we're going to add two double crochet into the top of the first double crochet of that scale. So I am going to work in this one. You can work in the next one too. No one's going to see this part. So as long as you have two double crochet at the very edge, you're good to go. I personally prefer to work in this one, but like I said, it's up to you. Then we're going to work a row of scales again, and that'll be double timed. So you can stick around and watch the rest of the video, but this is pretty much how you increase at the beginning and at the end of the row. If you enjoy these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. If you have any questions about this stitch or another stitch or you would like to request a stitch, you can leave that in the comments of any of my videos. I used to teach crochet in person and it is something I'm very passionate about. I do not believe in gatekeeping crochet techniques. So if there is something at any point that you see that you would like explained, I will do my best to try and help. I am also working on my knitting because I've been getting some messages about that. Um, hopefully I'll be able to teach knitting like I teach crochet sooner rather than later, but right now I just don't feel confident enough in my skills to be able to answer questions. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. And this got really fast. Oh my goodness. There we go.